Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spoon Fork, and yes, I am finally back. I know, it's been a long time, um, I'll get to that later, but uh, before I do any of that, I have a couple things that I want to do. Um, first of all, it's a new addition to my base right here. This is the trash bin. Um, now, first of all, you might be thinking, one chest? How is that enough if I have like a, a ton of like netherrack, for instance? And let me show you. So as you can see, this chest is pretty much just here in the wall. Um, I can open it because there's a stair over it, but it pretty much is isolated in the wall, which already looks pretty cool. But if we toss something in here, it starts getting taken away. Now, you might be wondering how the heck that's happening, because there's obviously no hopper underneath it. And it's a hopper minecart. Some of you may have known that. And yeah, that might have been pretty obvious. But for those of you who it wasn't, there's a hopper minecart that is pushed into the block right here. Um, and then there's a chain of hoppers that go down. It's already gone. Uh, I'll throw a little bit more in here. There we go. Um, and went all the way down into here, into the trash bin. I extended this wall out a little more just for some more space. I might just remove this whole chunk here, just to have a better room under here. Might be better. Um, so, this is the trash bin. Um, so as you can see, there's a hopper right there. You can barely see it in the background. Um, where the items are getting down from the hopper minecart into a chain of hoppers, right into this chest. Uh, plenty of storage up here. There's there's this double chest plus, uh, here, let me just strip off the wall a little bit, uh, plus another chest here, another double chest, and is there one more? No. Okay. Two double chests, though, which is plenty. Um, and then you might notice that there's this empty trash button. Now, that's my favorite part of this. Oh, and also, you notice it's like a bucket, like a trash bin. Um, but basically, my concept for this was like a computer trash or recycling bin, um, where you can put stuff into the trash, but it doesn't actually get deleted yet. Um, so it's just in case you're like, oh, crap, I really needed that file, or I really needed that cobblestone. Um, you can go back into the trash and extract it from the folder or the chest down here. Uh, so that's sort of the concept to it. Um, but then if you really are like, I don't need this, then you can just clear it from your computer or clear it from this world room thing. <laughs> um, so I might as well demonstrate that here. Um, so I'll actually crack open the wall here. Um, it's all done with minecarts. Plenty of minecart, minecart, <laughs> Minecart usage in this build. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let me just hit the button here. Whoops. I held shift. So the minecart goes there, then gets stopped here. Um, now the hopper minecart is able to access the chest, and as you can see down here, there is a hopper underneath that, and then it's all getting shot onto a cactus underneath, so there's no annoying hissing noise from, say, lava. Now, it still does have an annoying clicking noise, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, it's <laughs> it's the best thing that I can get. Um, oh, it's lagging out a little bit. You're doing the uneven clicking. The heck? Why is that happening? <laughs> but anyways, so when it finishes... That's weird. Oh, that's going to take a while. Oh no, it's not lagging. Uh, it's because the the hopper minecart or the clock is slightly uneven with the amount or the speed that the hopper can pull items out. So it should be going click 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 click, but instead it's going click 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 click. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll cut to when this finishes. Okay, here we go. Almost done. So when it empties out the hopper minecart, then it gets moved, whoop. <laughs> oh yeah, that happens every time, actually. Uh, it doesn't quite have enough power to get up the first time, and then it goes back up. Just minecart physics, but it still works. Um, so yeah, then this gets moved back up, and then when there are items in here, they can't get down to the next spot. So I think that's a really cool design, actually. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that worked out. Um, 
Did that go in there? No. Uh, yeah, but you can see back here, uh, basically what is going on here is that there is a torch here. So when there are items in this, because it, if it's emptying stuff out from here, there's always going to be at least one item in here. Um, it turns this off, which turns off this rail. Okay, so anyways, um, sorry I had trouble <laughs> making things happen. Uh, I guess it's emptied out, cleared out all the items. But anyways, so that's how it works. I think it's a really cool concept. Um, useful, interesting, just sort of a fun thing to have in my world. All right, well, I just wanted to show that little thing off. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a pretty cool design. But now, I'm going to get down to some serious work. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some more building. As you can see, I am filled with stone. I have so much stone now, it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess we'll get started, and then after that, I'll talk some about myself. But first, I want to show you guys something very cool. So, uh, yeah. Let's get started. But anyways, uh, that was just a little building montage that I did. Uh, I got a ton done, but I did notice that I made a little mistake here, so I'm gonna fix that quickly. And there we go. Okay, that's it, hopefully. Um, so now I'm just gonna be talking to you guys uh, for a little bit. Gonna be doing some building along with this. I uh, just... I can't think of anything else to do, really, um, and there will be a reason for that that I will describe as I, once I start building. So just get over here. After building up the wall, this used to be the level where you could jump on. <laughs> it's a little taller now, so I sort of have to dig through the wall every time, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's just a wall that I can rebuild. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna work on this next layer. You guys can get an idea of how ridiculous this is to build. <laughs> yeah, kind of a lot of work. Um, but anyways, uh, that montage was done with the Camera Studio mod. Uh, 
I was planning to do that before, but I was having trouble with the 1.6 mod loader. Uh, but I got it, so that's okay. And uh, you probably were able to tell that I recorded it in a bunch of different clips. I was originally planning to have it so that it was like seamless and you couldn't tell that it was switching clips, but whatever. It doesn't make that much of a difference, really. <laughs> um, but anyways, first of all, the reason that I have been gone for so long... Um, sorry about that. So, the reason I have been gone for so long is that, first of all, um, sort of at the end of, s towards the end of summer, sort of like early August. Actually, yeah, probably right around the beginning of August, I went on vacation, went to New York. That was fun, awesome. I was about there for two, or I was there for about two weeks. Um, so that was awesome. Um, but obviously I couldn't record there because I can't bring my desktop along with me. Um, or I could, I guess, but, you know, it would be a pain and it wouldn't be worth it for two weeks. Um, and I had other stuff to do, too, because it was vacation. Um, so I couldn't record there. And then after that, school started. School starts really early for my school. It's kind of terrible. So, so school started pretty much right after that. Um, and then I've just been insanely busy with school, just tons of stuff to do. And also, I haven't been feeling the whole survival Minecraft too much recently, you know. Been doing a little bit of PvP, but, you know, and I haven't been feeling like recording. So, it's been a while. I haven't posted anything in about a month. Um, not even from Aircraft or anything. Um, but that will be coming back with a new world. Um, I might be able to release that video today, actually, where I say goodbye to the, uh, the old world. <laughs> uh, but, uh, next, this world, um, as you guys probably know, or you might not, uh, the latest snapshot has come out, and it's amazing. I've flown around in a creative world. Oh my god, it's so cool. Um, but that means that at this point, this world is extremely out of date, um, and I would like to be able to have the new generation. The generation! <laughs> so, I will be switching to a new world. Now, don't worry, I am not deleting this world. I will keep it, and at some point in the future, I will come back to this world. Um, but I'm going to be taking a break from it. Um, so that's why I decided to do that giant building amount. Like, you guys have no idea how long that took for me to build all that. Like, finishing this up and building this height on this wall. Oh my god. So, so much work. So long. It was just... It was a little painful, I will admit. It was slightly painful. Um, but... And also, messing around with Camera Studio and stuff, that was... Oh... That was tough. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up building for hours. Like, actually. It was... And it, it if it was like fun building, then that's fine, but it's it's a little boring. You guys might be noticing from this, it's a little boring. Um, so yeah, I'll try to keep this brief. But I will be creating a new world when the full release of 1.7 comes out. So I won't be doing it now, but until the full release comes out. So that'll be a few weeks at least probably a couple months even. So I'll still have some more time to get Lapida to as much of a finished state as possible and do whatever else I want to do, just sort of polish up the world um, so that whenever I do reboot this world, it'll sort of be in a, a good state for me to continue working and enjoying my time here. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Um, I actually uh, have played a little bit on the new server at this point. Uh, I think I'll be uploading that video tomorrow. Oh man, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love the new generation. Um, but anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, pretty short episode, but I, I really wanted to get something out, and that montage took forever. I actually started it last week. Um, and then on and off, I've been editing it. Um, I recorded it over the course of two weekends, um, last weekend and this weekend. And then I'm just recording this little clip just to let you guys know what's going on. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. 
Uh, please like, favorite, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and please stay tuned for all the interesting new content that I'm going to be uploading from Errorcraft with the uh, new snapshot. Um, and this, this is also going to be having some pretty cool stuff. I mean, come on. How is this not cool? I mean, you yeah, know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh, creeper. <laughs> oh, you might have been able to see in the montage I got blown up by a creeper while I was building that section over there. You might notice that all of a sudden the chunks all reload and then there's this little hole in the building and I have to come back and fix it. That was a creeper and I did die. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I'm out of arrows. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, but anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.